Good morning, fellow alchemists. Today we have a really interesting video. We're going to talk about the whole goal of it is actually to move uh, not just spherics, but we're going to talk about absolutes because that's what I've got lined up for us coming up as a Palo Santo absolute. So we first got to talk about what is this stuff? <coughs> Excuse me, how does it work? And what are we even dealing with? And what are we talking about with the fa false Babylonian matrix? So. A lot of topics to cover. I'm going to keep it super short, super simple. Oh, and we're even going to talk about using the stars, basically, to maximize the potency of your creations in terms of alchemical tinctures, uh, spherics, <coughs> or um, the absolutes. One of my favorites is going to be. So we're going to be making a Palo Santo absolute. We're going to get to it. So without further ado, let's let's get into it. What I got here, this is like every fraternity girl's thing wet dream, if you will. Every frat boy's wet dream for making watch. This is five gallons of 95% organic wine alcohol. So alcohol and fermentation are part of the alchemical process. Fermentation is an alchemical aspect of it that it changes something. You have to involve life in it because you can't make alcohol, like you can't really make an alcohol without life. You need life. It's the yeast that makes the bread rise. That, Otherwise, you're left devoid of, you know, an inan completely inanimate, lifeless 3D object. But anyway, they actually take organic wine and they distill, which distillation is another aspect of the alchemical realm. But they take and they actually distill night or organic wine to get the alcohol out of it, to get 95% organic wine alcohol. Super neat. And you can go to organicalcohol.com to pick some up if you need some, if you're going to make, you know, your alchemical tinctures, your spurics, and your absolutes, because you don't want to just use like cheap vodka from you know the liquor store. If you're gonna like create a good alchemical extract or a tincture or an absolute or a spuric, you've got to have quality, quality ingredients, or your finished product isn't nearly isn't nearly as good. So let's talk about the absolutes first about how this works uh, before we get into the rest of it. So. You know what, actually, no, we're going to talk about the false Babylonian matrix. we got to talk about that first because we're going to talk about using the stars to increase the potency of your creations. So that's one of the most important ones. So <coughs> everyone's kind of like familiar with the Gregorian calendar. Most people live in the Gregorian calendar. And the Gregorian calendar was when Caesar Augustus and the whole council of Nicaea and everything, what they did in order to create this, this cult of Saturn, the false Babylonian matrix, this false reality that they've set up. You know, basically, you take a look at the ruling elite and the vaccine passports and, you know, false religions and the war and the strife and all this. All this requires this whole other false reality to be set up. And they call it the cult of Saturn because it's based on Saturn-based principles. Saturn is coagul coagulation of matter reality, boundaries, laws, limitations. So they had to set up first all these false rules and laws and nations and countries and borders and all these other things. They had to set those up and create this false reality. But one of the more important things they did, because when God created the universe, he had his seven days of the week that he created everything. And each one of them in our solar system is ruled by a different planet. We've got Monday by the new moon, Tuesday's Mars, uh, Wednesday's Mercury, Thursday's Jupiter, Friday's Venus, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday is Saturday or Saturn, and then Sunday by the sun. So you've got seven days of creation. What the Babylonian matrix did, they took and they shifted the days of the week. If you look alchemically, it was 36 hours, but uh, they shifted the days of the week by 24 hours. So they, what they did is they had God's original schedule that we would operate through. And so in the Kabbalistic traditions, Every day of the week, they had certain different duties that would be performed by different priests that were in alignment with the seven days of creation that worked with all the different um, planets in our solar system. So they were operating within the constraints and basically working with the natural laws of God and nature working in these specific days of the week. And so when the Babylonian matrix came along, they shifted the days of the week off by one so that we were operating not in alignment and not in conjunction with the natural laws of the universe that were created, much like how they changed music from 432 hertz to 440 hertz, because now we're operating outside of the natural laws of God. 
And so I got a, a little book here we're going to show you. You guys can look this up later. It's uh, this is a good book. The Spurix and then this Manfield. We're trying. There we go. This is a great book that I want to show you because what we've got is not only do we need to change our days of the week because take a look at Shabbat. Shabbat starts Friday night on sundown. That's technically Sunday morning. The alchemists basically every night at 6 p.m. was when the next day started. So technically when it's Monday night at sundown in 3D reality, we're actually starting Wednesday on that day because we're 36 hours ahead. That's Wednesday. Monday night is Wednesday morning according to these alchemicals. I know this sounds tough, just bear with me. But that's why Friday night is, Sh is Shabbat in the Jewish and Kabbalistic tradition because Friday night at sundown is actually Sunday morning. But the Babylonian matrix shifted everything off. So if you're going to be creating these different tinctures and spurics and absolutes, you want to pay attention to these days of the weeks and when they are because you want to work within the natural laws of God and align yourself and harmonize with those because that harmony then when you're creating these spurics and alchemical tinctures and absolutes that you're making, you're working in alignment with God's natural principles. So God is doing a bunch of work for you instead of you doing it. So it makes your creations and everything that you make makes it exponentially more potent because God is involved in everything that's happening, not just you and your 3D physical actions. So this gets super neat, so bear with me, we're going to complicate this even further because it's a lot of fun, but once you wrap your head around it, it's not that complicated, it's just, it's just neat. So we're going to take Friday night at sundown is really Saturday morning. We're going to take that, which you can also do, and this is, we're going to get in there, I know it'll be backwards, but you can just buy the book and I'll post it. Every hour of the day is actually broken down, every hour of the day is broken down and ruled by a different planet. So we get into astrology of an alchemy of not only are the days of the week ruled by certain planetary cosmic working gears, every plant, every rock that we have resonates with a different type of astrology because it's as above, so below. We have our entire cosmos and our solar system working here that's reflected down to earth. Page one of the Bible, God said, I set the stars in the sky and let them be used for signs and for seasons. It goes way deeper than that because everything on this planet is plugged into the gears of the universe, of the solar system here that are moving and working just like full moon causes parasites to bloom and causes all this microbial action in the soil that causes flowers to bloom different ways. And we have the signs and seasons of spring, summer, fall, winter. This set, there's this cosmic gear system that's working in every single plant and crystal and rock and mineral and even us and our different body systems operate according to these things. So when you pick, I have in here Palo Santo. Palo Santo in this 95% organic wine alcohol. And so Palo Santo, and I normally don't show people this because through the observer effect, through collapsing quantum waveform functions, I have X number of creation that I'm making that I don't want outside observers collapsing different quantum realities into what I'm making. So, you know, a lot of alchemists are very secretive. They didn't show people what they were doing, at least not until the thing was finished, because then the whole process is already sealed. It doesn't matter. But Palo Santo resonates with Scorpio or Pluto. And Scorpio and Pluto are the higher octave of Aries because there's seven days of the week and there's nine different planets. You have to double up a few of them because we've got the moon in there too and we've got the sun in there too. So we have to double up certain days of the week. So technically, Tuesday, which is really Sunday night at sundown until Monday night at sundown, actually starts Tuesday. So we have this Palo Santo that operates at a higher octave of Mars or Aries. Uh, I was born as a birth sign Aries, but that's not really, I don't identify with it anymore. However, so if we start this on Sunday night at sundown, that's technically Tuesday morning. Tuesday resonates with Mars, Aries, and the metal iron. Um, you could also say um, uh, cinnabar. Yeah, there's, these, there's all the different crystals resonate with different days of the week too. So anyway, I started this Palo Santo on, I, I just did what God told me to do. I actually did a Mercury conjunct Aries to make this Palo Santo extract. And like, look at how yellow it is. This is, we got some great extract already coming in this thing and it's only been like 12 hours. So this is gonna be really delicious. So I also picked the time of the day I did it at sundown 
which every hour of the day, not just every day of the week, but every hour of the day resonates with a different planetary energy. So you, when you're making an alchemical creation, if you understand astrology and the way the gears of the universe work, you can piggyback on that by leveling up your consciousness and encoding that into what you're doing. So right at sundown, an hour from sundown for another hour resonates whatever planetary day of the week it is. So this one, I, I meant to do it on Aries, so it'd be Aries conjunct Aries. So I could even take, if I wanted to, on Mars Day or Aries Day, I could have started this creation at the hour of Saturn. So it would be Mars opposed Saturn, which is all about breaking down boundaries and barriers and limitations. So when you understand psychology and you understand astrology and you understand the herbs and the crystals and anatomy and physiology and these things that the ancient alchemists understood, you're able to completely hijack reality because you understand how it works. That Saturn energy is our understanding boundaries, barriers, and limitations. And if you understand the limitations, you then know how to break them because you know how the walls and the barriers are put together so you can sneak it between the cracks, shatter them by hitting the resonant frequency of shattering it. So, we basically have, I'm just going to use for simplicity's sake, we have a, a Palo Santo which resonates with Mars, which resonates with Tuesday, which resonates with iron. And so Palo Santo is a Scorpio that resonates at the higher octave of Aries. We started it all together, we're going to extract it, and I'm going to go for probably probably close to 40 days or two months because, you know, 40 days, biblical principle. If that's the age of maturation, is 40 days. So we're going to let this go until then, and we're going to talk about, not a spirit today because it's too long to get into, we're going to talk about an absolute. So when we get, this eventually finishes and we've extracted all of what we call the soul of the plant or the sulfur in alchemical language. Bear with me. In alchemical language, there's the mercury, the sulfur, and the salt. This alcohol is the mercury, not like mercury, like, you know, the actual quicksilver metal mercury, but mercury, the messenger, like the planet, Mercury, the messenger, like the messenger of the gods. Uh, I want to say was that Apollo was the messenger of the gods. That's Mercury. It's just a different language, so bear with me. And then the sulfur is also known as the soul or the essential oil that's contained within it. And then we have the salt, which is its physical body, just like we have a physical body. All of our physical bodies, our salt, is identical, basically, across human to human to human to human. We're all made of the same thing, just like plants. Their salt is pretty much all the exact same. Little bits of different ratios, but it's all made of the same basic elements of calcium and magnesium and silica and those. So they call that in the alchemical terms, the salt. And then the sulfur is the soul of the plant, which that's the essential oil. That's what makes it different from everything else because its physical body, if I go break down wood and just break it down to its basic physical elements, We'd never be able to tell what kind of wood it was just by breaking it down to its base chemical elements, or base mineral elements. The way we would identify it is its essential oil, or its soul. And that's its soul vibration, Palo Santo. If you smell the essential oil, that's the soul of the plant. That's different. So we have the mercury, we have the sulfur, which is the essential oil, and we have the salt, which is the physical body of the plant. So, what I'm gonna do, now I've got this created and I use planetary alignments and when I go to filter it, I'm going to do basically Tuesday, 5D Tuesday morning, not 3D Gregorian calendar Tuesday morning. 5D Tuesday morning, I'm going to separate this stuff out and I think I'm probably just going to throw the, the salt away because that's not what I'm looking at. I'm not looking to make a spheric. I may or may not. But to make an absolute, these are the neatest. The absolutes are like this super thick thick, sticky base, very heavy molecules instead of an essential oil. So it's kind of like if you were to take an essential oil, like a big bottle of it, and you pull the cap off and you let all the little light molecules float away and the stuff you're left with at the bottom, the heavy, dense, 3D physical reality stuff. So the smaller, lighter molecules like such terpenes, they're very light and aromatic and will float off right away where there's different chemicals that are dense and heavy and solid which are larger molecules don't evaporate as fast. So what we're gonna do, because there's alcohol in here, or as the alchemist called mercury, to pull the soul out of the thing, that's what they call it, you know, alcohol is spirits, because it pulls the spirit out, and lets other spirits come in, it's a, it's a messenger, back and forth. So, once this comes out, once it gets done, I'm gonna separate the whole thing, I'm probably just throw the physical body away, because there's nothing left in it that I really need, unless I make a spiritic. 
But then what you do is you put this in the freezer for up to two years. It can sit in there. So what that does by putting it in the freezer, we're keeping it at a super low temperature so that the only thing that comes off of this is the alcohol and we're left only with the very heaviest molecules of Palo Santo to make a Palo Santo absolute that's exceedingly dense and works on the physical body realm enormously. So it works very good for par <coughs> parasite purging, very good for getting into the physical body for death and rebirth. So that is, that's what an absolute is. It's super, super dark and thick and sticky and like a tree set because it's the very dense 3D reality of the plant that's here. It's not the lighter or, you know, spiritual aromatic molecules that would come off first. So I'm making a Palo Santo absolute and I might put it in the fridge instead of a freezer because that'll cause, it, it changes it because the amount of time you're willing to wait changes what your absolute will be like. So we're gonna take this absolute instead and I might put it in the fridge because then it'll get done in like three months instead of two years because I want Apollo Absolute, Apollo Santo Absolute right now. You also, if you understand alchemy and physics, you could take and put this in the freezer and then attach a vacuum to it at about negative one PSI. That allows different molecules to come up faster while keeping the temperature low so it keeps the lower volume or the lower denser molecules stay, but the lighter, aromatic molecules will come off under this vacuum pressure while it's still cold. And so you can do all of these fun things to shift physics of, you know, PV equals NRT, pressure times volume equals plex, content times a certain rate and temperature of expansion and compression. And it'll change all the way these different things come off. So I'm gonna make an absolute, probably put it in the fridge. That way it can be done in three months and I can start sharing it with people. And next week I'm gonna create a cinnamon bark absolute and I might do some other really, really cool. It's like a black frankincense absolute. Oh my gosh, that'll be fun. But I have some incredible, incredible spirits that are coming. Ooh, and we're gonna talk about my giveaway here in a little bit. Uh, let's, let's just talk about the giveaway now. Uh, here we go, Parasite Purge. So using these different wisdoms and things that I know about, oh hey, let's show everybody all of our goodies up in the cupboard. I'm going to give like almost, almost all this stuff I'm just going to give away. It's really cool stuff. But using everything I talked about earlier in the video, I created one of the best parasite purges that it works on this insane spiritual level that it is for deconstruction of reality and parasitic entity attachments because we have to just, it's a very Aries based thing that I started it on Tuesday morning at sundown and burnt it off in a cast iron pan to add more Aries energy and then filtered it on a Tuesday morning to add more Aries energy and then used a black mangrove honey which resonates with both Scorpio and Aries for another death and rebirth of purging parasites. And we also added clove, agarwood, myrrh, black walnut, palo santo, and we used it a colloidal antimony, a colloidal uh, obsidian, and a colloidal black tourmaline. And is, <laughs> I don't have time to get into like all those different things right now because this video is already really long, but I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of this stuff just because I love sharing this stuff because it's fun. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video on like false Babylon matrixes, different days of the week, moving back into alignment with God's principles, um, how to make spiurics, alchemies, tinctures, absolutes, and I think that's enough for, I think that's enough for today. So uh, everybody have an amazing one. It was good to tune in and we're gonna get, I'm gonna do a post later today to give away some Parasite Purge stuff in exchange for prayers because I only make these things because I wanna give them away. I sell them through my ministries and donate it to charity, but you know, when you work for God basically doing that, it's the reason I can understand all this stuff is it's not of me. When I do it basically to just be like, hey God, what can I do for you today? God's like, hey, I got something cool, will you do it? And as you do it, God, kind of like Solomon, if you will, says, I'm going to just download the wisdom to you because you're just going to give this stuff away in exchange for prayers. God's like, that's serving me amazingly because you're going to take your time and money and effort and understanding of everything and all you're going to do is give it away. That's all. I love doing that. So that's the reason God keeps giving me this information and sending me all this stuff because the more I work for him, the more he just helps me out and says, cool, keep doing what you're doing because you're really serving my purpose and singing my praises, if you will, by just doing what I ask you to do and helping people. 
So stay tuned later today, guys. We're going to do a giveaway for a whole bunch of this stuff just in exchange for prayers. And I can't wait for people to try it. And then we're going to get into Kronos later of how that actually works and that one. But let's stop here with the parasites. Polisan does false 3D realities and Babylonian matrices. And uh, you guys have an awesome day. I got to get to work and help the kids make breakfast and waffles. So have a good one.